everyone. Welcome back to Southern Heritage Cemetery here in Pelham, Alabama. This is my second video from this beautifully landscaped garden cemetery. In a previous video from here, I visited the grave of Coach Gene Bartow, the man who took over the UCLA Bruins when their legendary head coach, John Wooden, retired. Coach Bartow later went on to start the athletic program at the University of Alabama, Birmingham. This week, I'm back along the beautiful lake near the entrance to this cemetery, and I'm going to be visiting the final resting place of another sports legend, a man who was the longtime quarterback of the Green Bay Packers, the great Bart Starr. Brian Bartlett Starr was born in Montgomery, Alabama on January the 9th, 1934. He attended Montgomery Sydney Lemire High School where he tried out for the football team. He was on the team for two weeks before he decided to quit. This didn't sit well with Bart's father who gave him a choice of working in the family garden or returning to the football field. Bart decided that football wasn't so bad after all and returned to the team. Early in his junior year, the team's starting quarterback suffered a season-ending injury. Bart Starr inherited the starting job, leading Lanier to an undefeated season. He capitalized on his junior year and was named an All-American and All-State during his senior year. College coaches from all across the country took notice of Bart's ability. As a result, he received scholarship offers from some of college football's powerhouse universities. One of the offers came from Paul Bear Bryant, who was then the head coach at the University of Kentucky. But Bart wanted to stay close to home and committed to the University of Alabama. At Alabama, Bart suffered a back injury during a club hazing incident. The injury would limit his playing time at Alabama. In fact, it would hamper him for the rest of his football career. Despite the injury, Bart was still considered a viable option as an NFL quarterback. He was drafted in the 17th round of the 1956 NFL Draft by the Green Bay Packers. For the first couple of seasons, Bart was the backup quarterback for the Packers. Then, in 1959, the Packers hired a man named Vince Lombardi as their head coach. One of Lombardi's first moves was to name Bart Starr as the Packers' starting quarterback. In 1960, Bart and Lombardi would lead the Packers to the NFL championship game, only to lose to the Philadelphia Eagles. This would be Vince Lombardi's only postseason loss. During his 15-year career as the Packers quarterback, he would become one of the most popular players, not only on the Packers, but in all of football. He was the NFL's most valuable player in 1966 and named to four Pro Bowls. He led the Packers to five NFL championships. He also led the Packers to the championships in Super Bowls one and two, where he was named the most valuable player. He completed more than 57% of his 3,149 passing attempts for a total of 24,718 yards. Bart retired as a player following the 1971 season and became the Packers quarterback coach under Dan Devine. He left the Packers for a couple of years to pursue some business interest and to serve as a broadcast analyst for CBS. Then, following the 1974 season, Dan Devine left the Packers to become the head coach at Notre Dame. Christmas Eve, 1974, Bart Starr was named the Packers head coach. He remained the Packers head coach from 1975 until 1983 when he was replaced by Forrest Gregg.
In retirement, Bart was involved in a number of business and charitable foundations, including the Rawhide Boys Ranch for Troubled Youth, the Vince Lombardi Cancer Foundation, and the Star Children's Fund, which raised money to battle pediatric cancer. During his later years, Bart suffered several health issues, including a couple of strokes and some other cardiac-related issues. But despite his health issues, he was able to return to Lambeau Field in 2015 when the Packers retired Brett Favre's number, and again in 2017 for the reunion of the famed Ice Bowl Packers. Bart's own jersey, number 15, was retired by the Packers in 1973, and he was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1977, a class which included Forrest Gregg, Frank Gifford, Gail Sayers, and Bill Willis. Following the 2017 Lambeau Field appearance, Bart's health took a turn for the worse, and after suffering a series of strokes, the legendary Packer quarterback passed away at the age of 85 on May 26, 2019. Well, this wraps up my visit to the Southern Heritage Cemetery here in Pelham, Alabama. If you have a memory of Bart Starr or Gene Bartow or any of the people that we visit in these videos, Please share them with us in the comments. And be sure to give me a thumbs up if you're so inclined. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing. It really helps my channel. I'm not sure where I'll be for the next video. So as I continue my journey, please remember, life is a wonderful journey. Be sure to take time and enjoy it. And I'll see you down the road. So long, everybody.